The barcode control allows you to capture barcodes from a form when using the K2 mobile app. To set it up, you must configure this control when you're designing the form and configure rules to handle the events and data captured using the control. Note, this control is not a display control, therefore it will not be visible at runtime on the form. When using the form, you will click a button or take some other action to scan a barcode, and the resulting data is transferred to a text box or similar control. But make a note, at design time you will see a visual representation of the control that you can configure. One more item of note before we walk through the demonstration, K2 will use device-specific libraries to interpret barcodes when scanning. So the ability to read different barcode formats depends on available formats supported in the barcode libraries of your device. Let's start here with an asset smart object that I have ready to go that could be used to store asset type information about something you're trying to track within your organization. For simplicity, I just have an item and quantity field mainly for demonstration purposes. In this demonstration, to save some more time, I'm also going to assume that you know how to generate views and forms from a smart object. I have already done this in my environment. From here, I want to give the asset item view the ability to scan barcodes using the barcode control. So let's select and edit the item view. Notice I have also added a row to the table on this view ahead of time to handle text box and label controls for the barcode number when it's scanned in. Feel free to configure your form according to your business needs when designing for barcode capability. You can find the barcode control in the Toolbox tab over on the left under the Input grouping. I'll drag this control onto the canvas near the top. For more functionality, let's add a button to this view. Accordingly, I'll name it Scan. Next, we can drop in a label control and name it barcode number. Then I'll add a text box to capture the scanned in barcode value. This is all I want to do with controls at this point, so the next task is to work with the rules to handle barcode scanning related actions. Heading over to the rules tab at the top of the page, the first rule I'm going to add in is meant to validate that the user's device supports the barcode control. You want to make sure of this so users do not receive an error when trying to scan from an unsupported device. Let's add a new rule. Starting with the event called when a control on the view raises an event, I'm going to set this to the barcode control and its initialized event. Next, we need to add the condition called an advanced condition is true from the conditions tab. Then open the designer window to configure this condition. This is going to ultimately check to see if the barcode control is supported. I'll configure this condition as follows. In the conditions window, I'll click the add button. Then from under the asset item view group over on the right side of the page, open up the controls group down into the is supported option under barcode detail. Next, I'll drag this detail value over to the left side of the condition statement. K2 essentially figures this out for us and sets the is supported detail value so we can check it at runtime. For this condition, we're checking for false, so I'll enter that into the right side of the statement and ensure that the operator is set to equals. So if the placeholder is supported evaluates to false, then the barcode is not supported and we want to show a message to the user. I'll click OK to save this condition back to K2. Switching over to the Actions tab, let's locate the action called Show a Message. Select that from the list, then configure it as follows. I'll switch the message type to Warning. Then for title, I'm going to enter in Control Not Supported for heading, I'll enter barcode control. Then for the body, we can add a bit more description. From here, I'll finish the rule. Then we can add the next rule for when the scan button is clicked. The event for this rule will be when a control on the view raises an event. 
I'll select the scan button control and its clicked event. Next, add an advanced condition as follows. In this case, the condition handles if the device is supported and allows the roll to continue. I'll add another advanced condition is true statement here. Let's edit it. Again, open the barcode control and pull over the is supported option to the left side of the condition statement. This time enter in true for the right side and make sure the operator is set to equals. That looks good, so I'll close this window out. Over on the Actions tab, I'll add in the action called Execute a Controls Method. Select the barcode control, which will default to the scan method. For this exercise, we don't need to configure anything else on this action, so I'll click OK. I do need to add one more rule to handle the scanned in barcode value when the barcode control is changed. I'll do that now. So for the event, I'll select when a control on the view raises an event. From here, select barcode, changed event. Next, I'll add an action to transfer data. Upon configuring this action, we can drill down into the barcode control and grab its value option from the controls grouping on the right. I'll drag this over to the text box control we added to the form earlier, and that should do it. I'll go ahead and finish up this view, then check it in by selecting that option from the list here in the middle of the page. Finally, I do need to make one last edit on the actual form element to tell K2 to make this form available from the forms menu in the K2 mobile app. I'll select the form and edit it, Move over to the Layout tab. From here, we can click the outline of the form area to see the form properties appear. Expand the Advanced section of the Properties and select the Application Form property. This field is required for the form to show up on the Forms menu in the K2 mobile app. I'll finish and save this edited form, and I'll also check it in. Now, to demonstrate, let's jump over to a mobile device view where I have the K2 mobile app already open. I do have this instance pointing to my K2 cloud environment where I just built this form, so by opening the K2 mobile menu in the upper left, we can access the Forms menu option under System. Note you may have to refresh this view in your app if you don't see the new form yet. Let's open up the Asset form. We can select that from the list here. Notice you can see the scan button that we added to the form. I'll put some info about a hard drive in here. Then press the scan button. At this point, I can use the camera view to zero in on the serial number barcode. And that looks good. Then select Done, at which point the information goes back to the form. Notice the scanned in barcode value was transferred to this text box. To sum up this lesson, we basically dropped the barcode control into our smart form, wired up various rules which include accounting for barcode reading support on a device, scanning the barcode, and storing the read-in value to another text box control.